but the cooling off of earth in the cenozoic the, especially the late cenozoic like we're talking about a uh, middle to late overall the cooling seems to be driven by first of all the changes in the currents around antarctica like drake's passage opening up uh, is yeah. one thing i remember and so that allowed for this Antarctic circumpolar current to essentially thermally isolate the South Pole from the top, whereas the Gulf Stream brings a lot of heat up into the Northern Hemisphere and exchanges it there before it makes it deep water. It, one, that's one thing that led to the cooling, or one idea of, of Antarctica is that opening of the Drake's Passage and in, in, in the current there. And then the other one is the weathering hypothesis where the Tibetan Plateau elevates like five to 15 million years old. The idea is that it led to enhanced chemical weathering and an overall slow drawdown in CO2. And I know that is controversial, but those are like the two main drivers of temperature changes on, let's say, million year time scales. Because when we're below that thousand year, we're in the Milankovitch forcing superimposed on these longer trends. I want to throw a new thing out there that I've talked to a few people about. What about the invention of fire by our genus, Homo? That happens some million to two million years ago. Before this, there is no animal on earth that creates fire. 